I would hope I'm not going to jail again. Okay, I just I didn't want because you to Because last time outrageous and it's going to be investigated. Okay, gotcha. I wasn't here for that. So, um, so this we're just gonna paperwork work Josh and explain is called. To him, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just giving you a heads up. And this Yeah, and just so you know, because it's your personal business, if you want to hear it, it's up to you. Oh, I would, mu witnesses. I would much rather have a witness, okay. uh, an organic witness. No I already problem. have a few hundred. All right, so this is called a temporary anti-stalking order. All right. And I'll read it directly to you so you no know the rules and regulations. So I'm only staying close to you so you can hear me. Yes, ma'am. No, I, I feel right, no danger. So it says, respondent shall not commit or threaten to commit any criminal offenses against the petitioner or other. Oh, is this Lancaster? Here. Let's make sure we're way out of his way. He's a known violent individual. He has caused major damage to one of our J6ers inside. I can't hear you behind your face diaper. Why are going. you walking around? Individual specified in this order. I'm going to give you a copy of this, okay? I'm, I'm okay. Um, respondent shall stay at least 100 yards away from the petitioner's person, home, workplace, or vehicle. And just so you know, the petitioner's workplace is this location. So, yeah. The This whole location, I'm not allowed to film anymore. Basically. Um, it has nothing to do with filming. It's about your presence. So well, I understand you are not that, but I can't film without my presence. Yards so. of this location, yeah. 100 yards is about the length of a football field. Okay. Um, How long is this for? Uh, we'll get to that. Okay. Um, in a second. No I mean, problem. I just want to make sure I hit all the bullet points. Um, is that it? Let's see. Okay. Respondent shall not contact petitioner in any manner, including but not limited to by telephone, in writing electronic or social media, any other manner, either directly or through a third party. Okay. So that means you can't ask somebody else to contact them for you, right? Um, and I have no I have no way to contact him. Well, that's, that's good news then. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. It talks about that, and I'll give all this to you. The but they do, they listen to my channel. That's not a problem, is it? Like, they, when I go live, if they all watch my. I mean, if you're, the yeah, okay. that's you're separate than this. But okay. I would say if there's something you're posting on a public platform, any one of the public could listen to it. I mean, that's just just making sure my understanding of that. Um, so the expiration date you were asking about, it's on the bottom here. It's nine twenty nine twenty two. Okay. So that's coming from a magistrate judge. I'm not the one making. Well, I guess I'm going to the Trump rally. Just reading it. Thank you guys. Actually. So then it expires on the date in which you have to go to court. So it expires on 929. When I have to go to court? So you have to go in front of a judge. For what? For this here. So this they'll determine whether or not they need to extend oh, it. Oh, extend it. Okay, they could have... Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, this so. is temporary. And then you go in front of the judge and she'll decide whether or not there's validity. And, like, I have to go to the judge. Well, or you... Or, I get, no. or it's a failure to appear. No, no, it, it tells you that you can show up for your... It's, you have a right to... Talk I would life. love to talk to the judge, actually, yeah, because they wouldn't. When I was arrested unlawfully, the prosecutor dropped it, and I never got to tell the judge my story. Sure. So everything's right. in there. How you can join? To <laughs> it's be part not of cool. Right. So it's like the prosecutor didn't want me to talk this to the judge. Part down here, if they were to extend it, but it's not filled out at this time. No, that's fine. Right now, it's just till the twenty. You guys aren't going to have any trouble. Like I said, there's so much content in DC. So there's so much corruption through all the different agencies. This is just what my viewers really love, okay. because they love the men inside, and they love how they were respecting their oath, because a lot of them are sheriffs, fire department, you name it, they're good men. So this Go to wearegoodmen.com. Excuse me, real quick. Yes, page one, sir. Page one is the instructions and in what you're not supposed to do, okay. okay? And page two is your appointment with the judge, okay, on 9-29-8-30 a.m. Nine, okay. Okay. This and that, uh, that appointment is not mandatory. So this is a... It I just want to make sure, because I do want to... Att you oh, are ordered. ordered to join the virtual hearing on 929. So it's an order, so I should follow orders. You should follow the order. Okay.
No problem. And I would love to anyways. And then, and then so there is a couple things um, to fill out here. So one is your address, if you please provide that. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Give them some personal information, uh, and I'm yeah. just going to whisper it to her. Here, you hold on to that. That's just regular video. That's all that is, too, right now. <laughs> it's okay. All right, guys. Just want to make sure Josh is all right. Uh, looks like everything is going good. You know. Very respectful, very courteous, but very professional. You know, this is this is being That's done appropriately. You good, Josh? Yeah, yeah, we're good now, I think. Very respectful, um, very. Here's your paperwork, okay? okay. Very so remember, this is the judge's order. Okay. And then the yeah. second page is the uh, here, the here, date and time of the year. Yeah, okay. it does okay. say something about on there about virtual, so you might want to reach out to them if you're having any Still there. issues with that. Uh, yeah. Like, you know, I might like be able to questions. do it from home, possibly. I just read something on there that it said, like, the word virtual. Webex virtual or hearing. audio phone call. Yeah, so I've just, if there's any confusion about how to do it, I'd reach out to them ahead oh, of time. Oh, listen, to join the hearing by video, yeah, click on this link. Yeah. That sounds too convenient. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the virtual world we live in. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you all so much. And if Very you guys, I mean, I can't, I don't know your coworkers, but if you guys see something, don't worry about it. I mean, if you think you're going to lose your job over it, just contact, like, media people. And, like, we can back you up if you want to complain about... Some of your employees, if you see them doing something wrong, oh, gotcha. or if you see just some sort of corruption, you know. Yeah, like, I appreciate with that. The we did department. training on that too, um, the able training and stuff. So I'll because last night was the opposite that. of that. Well, gotcha. Not last night, like two nights ago. I still need one more night's sleep, and I'll be back because I had to sleep in like 55 degrees on concrete oh. for no reason because it was all drops. So that kind of gives it makes me feel different. I still love you guys, but it, it puts a different perspective on things. That's mm -hmm. not good. I mean, I'm I'm open minded. I love. But if I was a normal, ignorant person, you would have created an enemy. And that's not what y'all did. I understand this is very political. This isn't normal at all. Yeah. So no, you guys didn't create an enemy, but if this was to be done to some ignorant person, mm -hmm. it's just not a good look for you guys. Yeah, well I hope you're able to get some rest and um, feel better. So yeah, just please be mindful of the order. Um, so it's 100 feet from this is one of the locations.